digestion of starch by salivary amylase under different conditions of temperature and pH. Requirements Human saliva 1% starch solution 1% sodium chloride 1 normal hydrochloric acid 1 normal sodium hydroxide solution iodine solution conical flasks test tubes water bath etc. Principle Salivary amylase is an enzyme found in the saliva of mammals. It converts starch into maltose. Procedure The first part of the experiment is to collect saliva. For this purpose, rinse your mouth with lukewarm water to remove the food particles present in the mouth. Chew a clean piece of rubber for a few minutes to collect saliva from the mouth. Take some distilled water in the mouth and gargle into a beaker. This will be collected saliva. If it seems to be concentrated, dilute it with equal quantity of distilled water. This saliva contains salivary amylase and hence we can call this a salivary amylase solution. Now we shall perform the test. Take about 50 ml of starch solution and equal quantity of salivary amylase solution in a conical flask. This will serve as reaction mixture. Keep the conical flask in a water bath at 38 to 40 degrees centigrade. From the reaction mixture, remove 2 ml of reaction mixture in a test tube and add a drop of iodine solution to it. This is called testing with iodine solution. Note the time. This is initial reading also called zero minute reading. Note, iodine imparts blue color to starch. Later, at the interval of every five minutes, take 2 ml of reaction mixture in a test tube and test it with iodine solution. Observe the change in color from blue to brown and then yellow. Towards the end of digestion process, iodine fails to impart color. This is the end point. The starch is completely converted into maltose over the time period and hence we can no longer get blue color upon iodine test. Observation Note the results in a tabular form as shown below. Test for maltose. Take 2 ml of reaction mixture from the above experiment in a test tube. Add a few drops of Benedict's reagent to this test tube. Boil it in water bath for some time and then allow it to cool. Observation. The precipitate is formed in the test tube changing the blue color of Benedict's reagent. Depending upon the concentration of maltose, the color would become green, yellow or brick red. Conclusion Starch is digested to maltose by the action of salivary amylase. Maltose is disaccharide and thus gives positive test with Benedict's reagent. Effect of temperature on the action of salivary amylase for understanding the effect of temperature on the action of salivary amylase, you will have to initially collect the saliva. Follow the procedure described in the previous experiment and collect the saliva in the beaker. For further experiment, follow this procedure. Take three conical flasks and label them as A, B and C. To each of the flasks, add 18 ml of starch solution sodium chloride solution.
salivary amylase solution to each of the flasks. Keep the flask A in ice bath at 4 to 5 degrees centigrade. Place the flask B in water bath at a temperature of 38 degrees centigrade. Now place the flask C in water bath at 70 degrees centigrade. Take 2 ml of sample from each flask and add 1 drop of iodine solution to it to test the presence of starch in it. This is 0 minute reading. Take 2 ml of sample from every flask at an interval of 5 minutes to test the digestion of starch with a drop of iodine solution. Record your observation of color change in the table given below. Observation table Result The digestion of starch takes less time at 38 degrees centigrade. This is because the enzyme is most active at this temperature. Whereas in other two flasks, the enzymatic activity does not take place. The flask A is in an ice bath. At such low temperatures, enzymatic activity does not take place. The flask C is in water bath at 70 degrees centigrade. Such high temperature too destroys the enzyme. On the contrary, the flask maintained at 38 degrees centigrade shows enzymatic activity due to its optimal temperature. Effect of pH on the action of salivary amylase In the last part of this experiment, we shall study the effect of pH on the action of salivary amylase. For the saliva sample, collect the saliva in the same way as you had done before. Procedure Take three conical flasks and label them as A, B and C. To each of the flasks, add 18 ml starch solution and 1 ml of 1% sodium chloride. flask A, add 1 ml of 1 normal hydrochloric acid. To flask B, add 1 ml of distilled water. To flask C, add 1 ml of 1 normal sodium hydroxide. Add 1 ml of salivary amylase solution to all the three flasks. And place them in a water bath at a temperature maintained at 37 to 38 degrees centigrade. Take 2 ml of sample from each of the flasks and test them with a drop of iodine solution for the presence of starch. This is initial or zero minute reading. Take 2 ml of sample every 5 minutes to test the presence of starch with a drop of iodine solution. Record your observation of color change in the following table. Result the digestion of starch occurs effectively when the pH of medium is 6.7 to 7. Saliva in mouth has a pH range of 6.2 to 7.4. The optimum pH for salivary amylase makes the reaction occur effectively in flask B than in flasks A and C. Flask A contains acidic medium while flask C contains alkaline medium. Flask B is neutral and hence reaction occurs well in this flask.